Hi everyone, uh, Victor here with Screenly. I am just back from Infocom, and at Infocom we introduced our brand new Screenly Player Max Mark II. So that was the first time I got my hands on this unit in person. So I wanted to do a quick recording of an unboxing of what the new player looks like and compare that to the old players. So uh, I have both the screen the player and the screen the player max ready here, uh, the old generations, and uh, let's look at it. So if you start looking at the box, we um, you can see it's branded as System76, which is uh, the company working with to produce these devices. Uh, those of you not familiar with System76, um, they've been doing Linux on the desktop longer than anybody else, really. So they became a natural partner for us to work with because we really wanted to work with somebody who understand both Linux hardware, Linux firmware, and Linux just in general. So they became our new partner for the hardware. So we're really excited to be working with them. So this device will be brand boxing a screenly branded box going forward. But for now, uh, this version has a System76 box. But uh, let's crack it open. So if you open it up, you'll notice that it has this little screenly times system notice six uh, with a getting started guide. Um, if you then pops open, you can see the actual device. And uh, as you can see, um, smaller compact. Um, behind here, you have two e HDMI, uh, Ethernet, USB-C, and a few USB ports. Um, also some USB in the front. Um, it really feels like genuine. It feels solid, uh, and um, yeah, compared like, compared to a lot of devices out there, it like feels like a solid piece of hardware. Um, in the box, uh, there's also a uh, mounting bracket if you want to mount this behind a PC or sorry a, a behind a monitor, uh, as along with along with a power adapter and so on. But what I really wanted to do is is compare this to the previous generation of players. So I have here. Um, the Screenly Player uh, alongside with the Screenly Player Max Mark One. So if you compare here, you can see that the Screenly Player Max Mark II is significantly smaller than the previous uh, Screenly Player, particularly if you look at, um, well, if I do this, you can look at the back, it's much smaller. That one has a uh, display port and HDMI, and here we have two HDMI, which generally speaking makes it easy to deploy. Uh, on the front, um, kind of similar, except I have USB ports here. Um, no external Wi-Fi antennas on this guy, um, but it has a much more comp smaller compact form factor. You'll also notice that it doesn't have a massive heatsink like the Mark I does. Uh, and that's because it actually, it isn't fanless like the first uh, Mark I is. And um, we felt a bit mixed, ma mixed about that, uh, but the reality is that not too many of these devices are actually deployed in as dusty environments that we expected. So uh, it, it does add a potential uh, failure point, I guess, but these are extremely reliable uh, based on the data we've seen. Um, so I don't, I'm not overly worried about that. If you compare that to a screenly player, uh, the regular Raspberry Pi based player, you can see that it's about the same height, slightly taller, um, but obviously bigger. Um, so yeah, this is our new Screenly Player Max Mark II. It's available today in our web shop, so shop.screenly.io, and you can order these, and they're built and assembled in the US and shipped out directly from System76. So again, super excited to be working with System76 on this. They are the OGs. They've done Linux on desktop longer than anybody else. Uh, we are super proud to be partnering with them to provide the next generation signage player and probably the most secure signage player in the world. So check it out at screenly.io. Thank you.